Greg, the Burl Hunter, uh, owner of OregonBurls.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how I sharpen uh, my chains uh, so that they're the sharpest that can be. All right, first thing before we sharpen the chains, you have to have your safety equipment, your, uh, your hearing protection, your eye protection. It's imperative. After that, you want to set the proper angles uh, for your chain. Um, the undercut angle, which is this one on the arm, I set that at 60 degrees. I, I find that I have uh, best results at 60 degrees. And then the angle of the blade, I set it at 25 degrees. And that seems to work best. So as, as I set this up, uh, this, this blade's ready to go, ready to be sharpened. I don't just lay down on the on the blade because that heats it up but if you do short little strokes you see the sparks flying but it's not heating up the steel all right so that one's steel's not heated up that keeps the tensile strength of the steel. And, uh, and another reason why you want to do those short bursts is uh, when it heats up, uh, it creates a, a hot burr. And that can sometimes weld itself to the, to the blade. And even though you technically have a sharp blade, it's not sharp, it's more rounded. So you want to watch out for that burr. And if you do form a burr, you want to keep doing those short uh, jabs until that burr flies off. As soon as that burr flies off, it's as sharp as it's going to get. So this one is sharp, ready to go. So we just skip a tooth because they're alternating. Tighten it up. And go for the next one. All right. That's looking good right there. Skip the tooth, make sure it's down, tighten it up. It's so important to have uh, eye protection during this process because those burrs or those barbs that are coming out, they're sharp as needles. And when they fly, uh, it's, it is, there is a chance that it could get in your eye and that's no fun. Now the thing that you're looking for is, is a, you, the end result you want a sharp, sharp uh, blade right here. Even though that blade is like 3 sixteenths of a blade, it's so important to have it all sharp. But as I'm pulling down, as I'm bringing this down, I'm just watching where the sparks are coming from. Uh, if it's coming from the bottom of the blade or the top of the blade, I want that top of the blade, I want the top of the blade super sharp. So when, when I'm doing this, I'm watching that top edge and making sure the sparks are coming right off of that top edge. And if there's a barb there, I'm going to keep touching it until that barb slings off. Once that slings off, you know that that blade, the top of that blade, is super sharp. And it's, it's as sharp as it's going to get. Uh, so it's really important to be able to see what you're doing. Watch the sparks. Watch that barb. And as soon as it goes, you're done. Move on to the next one. Uh, one more thing. Uh, if you use um, a chainsaw sharpener like this, it comes with a little block. Uh, this is your stone conditioner. 
if you look at your stone and there's a black streak on there, that's going to heat up your blade also. So that's what the stone is for. You, you hold it up against your stone very carefully because it's going. And, uh, and when that black is gone and when you have fresh stone, you're, you're ready to cut. You're ready to start sharpening your chain. And that's it. It's a really simple process. Be careful. Always wear your safety glasses and hearing protection. And uh, safety is good. Clean shop is safe too.